every freaking morning. Okay, that's better. Kinda. Who wants to DIY? I have this Slayer shirt, which you might recognize <laughs> if you watched my last DIY video, or maybe not my last, I don't know, one of my DIY videos in the past. I like did this bleach pattern, but now, I don't know. I mean, we messed with it already, so like why not mess with it more, you know what I mean? I've been wanting more like cropped t-shirts just to wear around the house, so like why not? I feel like the design got a little bit messed up anyways because just the way I bleach dyed it, um, it kind of just like messed with the logo, so I don't know, why don't we just like cut it off right around there? I think I will start by cutting it like here at the bottom of the logo and then we can always take it shorter, you know what I mean? Ta-da! Sorry, I forgot to film myself uh, cutting it, but literally all I did was just cut it in a straight ish line where I said I was going to with just my kitchen scissors because that's that's just how it be you know okay mm, let's try it on overall I am very pleased with this I don't know why I didn't do this earlier <laughs> it's like so obvious and simple but like I just feel like it's so much more comfortable and light now and um I know the pants that I'm currently wearing literally don't match <laughs> this top Looks like a train wreck of an outfit, but like I don't feel like changing these pants are really comfortable So just deal with it. I almost want to cut this top shorter just because I love like really really short little like t-shirt crop tops Especially just to like wear around the house like chillin. I just for some reason love that vibe <laughs> I kind of love the way that it is right now. I don't know I think I'll keep it like this for a little bit and then if I decide to cut it shorter I'll keep you guys updated on my super interesting life. So yeah guys, that's it. Thanks for watching my DIY. Could you imagine if like I literally just cut a t-shirt into a cropped t-shirt and was like, that's my DIY video. <laughs> As if like everyone didn't do that when they were like 15 years old in their bedroom. Anyways. Okay you guys, this is where the real struggle comes in. <laughs> this one will not be so simple as just cutting a t-shirt. So listen. I've got this thing here. I'll show you guys footage of what it was like before. I ordered like this dress. It was from AliExpress, so it was like really weirdly made and it was just like two pieces instead of one. And this was like one of the pieces and it's supposed to go around the waist and it's like way too tight for my waist. I can wear it, but I'm like <laughs> struggling to breathe as I wear it. So, um, I thought why not take this part away from the dress and actually make it into its own thing and I want to turn it into a top. I don't know if you guys have seen those shirts. I'll find some pictures for you and you'll know what I mean and you'll know what I'm trying to make. I already cut this thing down the middle in the back and so far I've safety pinned this on but I need to like actually sew this. This is just like a scrap piece of fabric just like extra fabric from like a shirt or something so i need to figure out how to like sew this on to the back and then i have this like zipper that i bought because this is definitely gonna need a zipper if i don't want to like lace myself out of it every single time i have to wear it because that's annoying and ain't nobody got time for that i'm gonna be super honest with you i don't know what i'm doing um this might be a project that is like way too far out of my <laughs> skill level. I don't even have a sewing machine. I just have this little needle and thread, okay? Um, so what I did was, this is like the inside of the thing. So like when it's a top, it'll come together like that. Um, so like basically, okay, let's take these safety ass pins <laughs> out. And I'm just gonna sew this on and then I'm gonna deal with like the repercussions <laughs> of it later. Why do I do this to myself? This is like a really complicated DIY <laughs> compared to the last one. This might be like the most complicated one I've like ever done in my life. We're gonna get through this together. Why do I think that I can do things? Okay, now I have it sewed on. Um, you can't really see, but it's actually like really badly done. <laughs> but whatever, um, this is like the back of the top, so who cares, right? But we should cut off like the extra fabric. So now, basically, I've got this together, even though like it looks kind of weird, but whatever, it's gonna be in the back. So now the next thing is figuring out where the zipper is gonna go. Um, I cut the zipper down into this size. I hope it won't be problematic because as you can see, like this is the um, an essential part of the zipper, but I had to cut that part off. Um, and that like stops the like this thing from going 
off the rails, you know what I mean? So hopefully that won't be problematic. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just ordered a zipper on Amazon and like didn't pay attention to the length or anything and was like, this will work. <laughs> so yeah, it's a separating zipper. At least I know th that much because it needs to be separating. You know what I mean? Like it needs to come apart for this top to work because that's the whole point, you know? <gasps> See? <gasps> oh my God. No, please stand by. <laughs> okay, I finally got it back on and I just watched like 20 tutorials on zippers. So basically what I need to do is make some sort of a stop. I think what I'm gonna do is try to just like sew myself a little zipper stop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like here and I'm just gonna like literally try to just like sew so much that it like creates a stop. If this doesn't work, then then I'll just die or something. <laughs> I finished the zipper. So what I did was I just like sewed a bunch of thread right here so that it will stop the zipper. And then I put glue right here to stop like the thread from, you know, <laughs> going wild. <laughs> and then I cut the top where I want the zipper to go. So we're just gonna plop it right up in here, I guess. Yeah, looks good to me. All right, let's sew it on, boys. I finally finished it. Look, it looks so sick. It has this little zipper. Honestly, this is so cool. If you look up close, it looks really like messed up. It looks pretty janky. Like if you look up at like my stitches and stuff, they're just such a mess. I should really invest in a sewing machine sometime. Yeah, I think this is pretty sick. It looks so cute over this little shirt. Um, I'm gonna try it on without this shirt. Hell yeah, baby. This took me all day, but it was worth it. I'm so hyped. I like, okay, I feel like it's a little bit ill-fitting, like definitely like loose in some areas. Definitely like could use a few adjustments, but all in all, I'm like really happy with this. The zipper is so convenient. I can just like go like this. I don't have to worry about messing with this at all. I can just leave it like this, take the zipper up and down. I'm just like so excited because I feel like, okay, secret, I like sexy tops like this. Don't always look great on me. And I was kind of nervous that like <laughs> it would look really awkward on my body once I made it um, and that I would have to like give it away to someone with like, I think it actually looks good on me. I'm like shook. What the hell? How did this happen? I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. Maybe I'll wear it to the grocery store. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, this took me all day and I'm really tired. I made two things. One of them was very simple and one of them was very complicated, but that's just how life is, so, <laughs> okay.